that started before I uh, came on the scene. Uh, then we play. Uh, it was like our Christmas party. We would we would play at the Down Home in Johnson City, Tennessee, the weekend before Christmas every year. It, it just never failed. It was always always that weekend before Christmas. And so I would go. I would go to, uh, and pick up Doc in Deep Gap, and we'd drive across the mountain and play two shows. And you know, then I, <clears throat> I would drive back, usually with one eye closed, <laughs> uh, drive drive us back to Doc's house, and, and I'd stay the night there. Um, so the first time that I that I did that, uh, I went to. Uh, I stayed with Doc, and I got up in the morning, and Rosalie had already made, made some coffee. Doc was still in bed. I grabbed some coffee, and I went down into Doc's music room in the basement, and uh, just kind of poking around. Uh, and I noticed this guitar in the corner behind his uh, music rack. He had a rack with EQs and amplifiers and stuff. And I saw this guitar. And I, I picked it up, and I know the bridge was almost, it, it pulled so much that it was standing almost straight up. And it had three strings on it, and there was about this much dust on it. So I pulled this guitar out, and I dusted it off, and, you know, looked at it, and I plucked on the two or three strings that were there. And then, I don't know how many of you are, but I am a sailing hole sniffer. <laughs> so I'm, I, I had just taken, I had just taken a big whiff of the sound hole, you know. And about that time, Doc appears in the door. He says, "Son, what are you doing?" <laughs> and so, so I, I told him, said, you know, I found this guitar because I recognized it immediately. I'd seen it on record covers, you know. I, I knew it was, it was the same guitar that I listened to as a kid. And I said, well, Doc, you need to fix this up, you know. I could probably have this playing, you know, if you want, you want to fix it up. And uh, he said, oh, it's not worth anything. You know, I wore it out years ago. Um, it, it's, not, it's not worth anything. If you like it so much, you know, maybe one of these days I'll give it to you. Well, it didn't happen that weekend. He didn't give it to me. So this became a pattern. <coughs> Over, over the years, you know, go to Johnson City, drive back with one eye closed, stay the night in the dock, get up in the morning, get that coffee, go down into the music room, pull out the guitar, dust it off, pluck on the strings, and snip the sound off. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so anyway, finally Doc said, oh, hell, son, just, just, just take it. It's not of any use to me at all. So... He said, but before you before you take it, take the Grover Rotomatic tuning machines off because I want to keep those. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I said, you know, I said, well, bring me bring me a, a, a wrench and a screwdriver. And, you know, so we went and got it. I took things off. I took the machines off. And I took it home. Well, it was in a lot worse shape than I at first imagined once I got it home. And it took. You know, it took a year and a half of me piddling around with it on my bench to, to get it playing. And so I finally did. Uh, it was playing well and all that. And so Doc and I were doing a, we were doing a, two CDs. We did two CDs in five days in the middle of a blizzard in Nashville. Uh, but two CDs in five days. Anyway, we're in the studio and I brought this guitar because I thought it would really be cool for this guitar to be on another Doc Watson record only with me playing it this time. And so I thought that was, you know, be a cool thing to do. And so I brought the guitar and I just, we were, he was sitting, sitting there waiting for everything to get set up and he slipped, I slipped this guitar in his lap and he grabbed the neck and he knew immediately, he knew immediately that it was this, you know, his old guitar. And uh, he went on and on about, oh, what a good, you know, you were right, there was music left in that guitar. 
it it's, plays great, it sounds great. What a good old friend this guitar was to me all those years. <laughs> <laughs> and I could tell, you know, he was regretting giving it away, so I just leaned over and whispered in his ear, yeah, buddy, and maybe one of these days I'll give it to you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.